right now is I'm just rolling out my yellow fondant. Um, and I want it pretty thin. You know, so I've got some bubbles going on. So let me take care of those. And all I'm really doing is just trying to roll this out big enough that I can get our entire placket out of it. Now if you have a bigger roller pin, sometimes it makes your life a little bit easier. And then we're going to use that same method, just a little bit of shortening in the corners. And this is just going to keep our pattern from moving while we're cutting it out. Okay. And for this one, we're going to go ahead and use our rotary cutter. Now what we're going to do with our brush and our water, I'm just going to brush a little water on right where I can see that it's inside those marks I made. I try to come out to where the edges would be so you can get a really to really adhere where you want it to. But a little bit goes a long way. Now, I find that when I'm moving pieces like this, if I keep it attached to my pattern piece, it's a lot less likely to stretch out on me. Now, granted, there's, there might be a little stretching no matter what you do, especially if you have any sort of sticking to your counter, but you can try to minimize that as much as possible. So line up that first corner, and then my suggestion is to line them up kind of corner after corner. So if there is any stretching, you can try to push it back into shape. There we go. So you can see we got a little bit of stretching. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rotary cutter and I can either cut it or I can try to push it back into shape. And if it doesn't look like it's gonna work, I'm just gonna very carefully cut it, make sure I'm not cutting into my shape. Or I can even use my craft knife to do that. And we'll just go ahead and clean up all those little places where it's stretched. Now where we marked that before, four of corners is now covered up with the yellow. So we're going to go ahead and remark our inside corners. And then we're going to very carefully pull this off. Now, if you have a place where either you've got some big bubbles or some elephant skin, this is your best time to try to fix that. Now we can move on to the next part of our placket. We're going to start by cutting out the rest of our pattern piece. 